A migraine is a neurological condition characterized by recurring intense headaches, often accompanied by nausea, sensitivity to light and sound, and sometimes visual or sensory disturbances known as auras. Migraines can last from a few hours to several days and significantly affect quality of life. Migraine is far more than just a bad headache. It's a complex neurological disease affecting millions worldwide. Understanding migraine is crucial for those who experience it, their loved ones, and healthcare providers. This condition can profoundly impact daily life, affecting work, relationships, and overall well-being. Recognizing migraine as a legitimate medical condition is the first step toward effective management and support. Over 1 billion people worldwide suffer from migraine, making it the third most prevalent illness globally. Migraine is the second leading cause of years lived with disability, YLDs, worldwide. It affects one in seven people. Women are three times more likely to experience migraines than men, most common in people aged 18 to 44 years. In the U.S. alone, over 39 million people are affected by migraines. Economic cost, billions in lost productivity annually. The exact cause of migraines isn't fully understood, but researchers believe it involves. 1. Brainstem and trigeminal nerve dysfunction. 2. Chemical imbalances, especially serotonin. 3. Genetics, family history plays a strong role. 4. Environmental triggers, light, sound, weather, odors. Migraines are not simply vascular, as once thought, but rather complex neurological events. Common migraine triggers includes 1. Stress or emotional anxiety. 2. Hormonal changes, for example, menstruation, menopause. 3. Sleep changes, too much or too little. 4. Skipped meals or fasting. 5. Caffeine or alcohol overuse or withdrawal. 6. Certain foods, aged cheese, chocolate, MSG, nitrates. 7. Bright lights or strong smells. 8. Changes in weather or barometric pressure. Risk factors of migraine includes 1. Family history. 2. Female gender, especially hormonal changes in women. 3. Age, often starts in adolescence or early adulthood. 4. Mental health conditions like anxiety or depression. 5. Sleep disorders or chronic fatigue. 5. High levels of stress. 6. Lifestyle and behavioral. Prevention strategies includes maintain regular sleep and meal schedules. Manage stress, for example, meditation, yoga, therapy. Keep a migraine diary to identify and avoid triggers. Stay hydrated. Medical prevention. Preventive medications such as beta blockers, for example, propranolol, anti-seizure drugs, for example, topiramate, antidepressants, for example, amitriptyline, CGRP inhibitors, for example, erinumab, frimanezumab, Botox injections for chronic migraines, neuromodulation devices, non-invasive electrical stimulation. Migraines are diagnosed clinically. There's no single test. Doctors typically use detailed medical history, symptom tracking, neurological exams, exclusion of other conditions, via MRI or CT if needed. Diagnosis is based on ICHD-3, International Classification of Headache Disorders, criteria, which includes at least five attacks, lasting four 72 hours, two of the following, unilateral location, pulsating quality, moderate to severe pain, worsens with activity, plus nausea or sensitivity to light sound. Treatment options includes, one, acute, abortive treatment, used to relieve symptoms once a migraine begins, NSAIDs, for example, ibuprofen, naproxen, triptans, for example, sumatriptan, ergots, less commonly used now, antiemetics, for example, metoclopramide for nausea, gepants, for example, ubrogepant, rimegepant, new class, ditans, for example, lasmiditan, for those who can't take triptans. Two, preventive treatment, used to reduce frequency and severity of migraines, daily oral medications, as listed above, CGRP inhibitors, monthly injectables, Botox injections for chronic migraine, lifestyle changes. Living with migraine can be incredibly challenging, often leading to feelings of isolation and frustration. It's important to remember that migraine is a real disease and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Support groups, both online and in person, offer a valuable community where experiences can be shared and coping strategies learned. Connecting with others who understand can provide immense comfort and practical advice.
The landscape of migraine treatment is continually evolving, with new research bringing promising therapies to light. There is more hope than ever for effective management and improved quality of life. Advocacy and awareness campaigns are also crucial in reducing the stigma associated with migraine. By speaking openly about the condition, we can foster greater understanding and empathy. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. With the right information, support, and treatment plan, managing migraine is possible, allowing you to live a fuller, more engaged life.